welcome back to the channel guys it's your boy smokester here back at you with another video and today we are the on the austrian factory test track by the man bc creative now in the description of this uh track he said that it is in marietta california and it is located right next to a certain orange team's california headquarters um so i'm imagining he's talking about the ktms you know what i'm saying but man this track is rough so there are three tracks on here you have two super cross tracks and then you have an enduro cross track now when you go pick this up you can you have the option of choosing rough or groomed for the two super cross tracks and right now we are on the rough uh versions of them now I'm telling you, so this track is very unique in the way that the ruts go throughout the track. So normally on a track, the ruts go through the corner. You have like certain ruts in the corner and stuff. On this one, the ruts are everywhere. You got ruts between the jumps. You got ruts on the jumps. You got ruts going through the jumps. You got ruts going through the whoops. And it makes it very difficult to put down a very fast lap. So my fastest lap when I was just spinning laps without recording was 54 seconds. And I'm imagining that you could probably get a whole lot faster than that if you can get these lines down. Um, this track is not easy by any means. Now, I'm imagining when you go through and you get the groomed versions, there it's gonna be a little bit easier. You know what I'm saying? You're not gonna have the ruts through all the jumps, I don't think. I think on that one, you'd probably have ruts going uh, through the corners like your normal ARL track or whatever but for the rough versions man oh boy this track is very hard and um I think that I mean I can only imagine being that this track is so good and uh I think B BC Creative has some sort of tie-in with the ARL somewhere and I I can only imagine that this is going to start coming to the ARL tracks, right? Now, even without this coming to the ARL tracks with, like, the roughness and all of that, I, I'm i going to go back to what I was talking about on Seattle, man. I really feel like we need a 450... Oh, we need a 450 amateur. Uh, a 450 amateur class and a 250 pro class. So we need it to where we have, you know... The 450 Pro, 450, uh, 450 Pro, 250 Pro, and then 450 Amateur and 250 Amateur. And I think that the 250, uh, the Amateur classes, my bad, the Amateur classes should be ran after the Pro classes, man. You know what I'm saying? Let the Pros run first, and then after the Pros run, dictate the cutoff time for qualifying. Oh my gosh, that was just a terrible section. <laughs> dictate the cutoff time for qualifying on amateurs based on the qualifying times for the pros, like 10 seconds back. And I'm going to explain this a little more thorough than I did on the Seattle video. So doing so is going to help in three areas. One is going to help get all the people that are sandbagging the amateur class and making the amateurs look I mean, two seconds off of the pros, which is crazy. It's going to make them stop being able to sandbag and force them to go pro, right? Second, it's going to let a lot more people play and participate in the ARL scene that want to participate in the ARL scene. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's a lot of people that try to qualify every week. And I know there's a lot more people that want to play that. You know what I'm saying? And then three, because you have more people playing, you're going to have more money. The people that make the tracks, the people that run all of that, they're going to make more money. So even if they don't agree with me on the first two, I mean, it'd be a good way to generate more money because you're going to have more people buying the track to try to participate. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, money talks. And if we really want it to change, that's going to be the way to uh sell it you know what i'm saying that's that's the best way i can put that so i don't know i just i feel like i'm an amateur and i have i'm like 10 seconds behind the qualifying times for 90 percent of the races you know what i'm saying and it's kind of crazy i don't feel like i should be that far behind in amateurs so all right so we are up on the second super cross track of the two on here and in my opinion this one is by far 
much more difficult. Now, there are a couple sections on here that I will go over that I have been struggling with. And one of them is the whoops. I keep seeming to crash in the whoops, so I'm kind of trying to take my time through there. And then hitting this step on, step off. Oh, we actually did it now. That's what I'm talking about. That was difficult. And then this dragon's back, man. The only way I'm getting through that clean, didn't even do it this time, is if I slow down. Because otherwise I jump off the end and I go over the handlebar. So definitely a much more technical track ah, than the first one. And it, yeah, it's more rough. It's definitely more difficult. It's definitely harder. Um, but, you know, it's one of those tracks that I feel like because of the difficulty of it, you can play quite a bit and actually, you know, improve at Supercross or improve at the game. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to be playing this track a lot because I want to improve at it. And personally, I like the challenge and I'm not going to be happy until I can get a clean lap around this track, hitting the lines that I want to hit. Like right there, I want to be able to hit that triple in the middle, but I always come up short. So we're going to avoid that this lap. We're going to try to step on, step off. We did it. Yeah. All right. Now, let's see if we can't hit this dragon's back. I'll show you. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, 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 barely. That is crazy, bro. But, like I said, this, this track in comparison to that last one is much more difficult. Now, tripling in right there, I can do it. But then I find myself going through the berm very fast afterwards it's a uh, harder to slow down so come on i know i'm not doing this any justice um bc creative but you have made a very difficult track now i think the groomed version of this track would be very fun to ride just for the simple fact that it would be not as difficult and i could probably hit the lines that i want to hit but like I said earlier, I do see a lot of similarities between this and the ARL tracks that we have. So I know the guys that ride a lot of ARL are thoroughly going to enjoy this track. And I know my man uh, Turbo and my man Gyro are definitely going to enjoy this track. Because they won't play a track unless it's difficult. So, you know, they're weird like that. But I think that they will thoroughly enjoy this track. And, um, I mean, I'm enjoying it too. It's just more difficult hey we got the triple okay so we're see we're starting to get it down now we're starting to get it down now oh yeah but uh yeah so you guys got to let me know down below of the two tracks or better yet three tracks what do you like more do you like the first super cross track the second super cross track or the enduro track because i think i like the first super cross track the most and then the enduro cross track is just fun to play but that is difficult as well. And then I think that the second Supercross track is like where, you know, that's like my favorite practice track to get practice at the game. Because, uh, yeah, thing is a pain in my butt. But all right, we're going to go check out the Enduro Cross track now that we uh, have su successfully done some laps on that one. Now, the Enduro Cross track is pretty crazy, man. We got some rocks everywhere and everything. And, uh,. At first, we got stuck. So at first, I thought that this was going to be dang near impossible because of the slow physics of the game. And to be honest with you, man, I have no idea which way I'm supposed to be going on this track. So we're just guessing. We're going to try to jump over this. Yeah, we're just guessing. And we're just going to we're going to probably only do one lap. I'm not the I'm not good at Enduro Cross at all. But this Enduro Cross track reminds me a lot of um, like those indoor Enduro Cross tracks that they have that was not the right line at all but uh it reminds me a lot of those indoor enduro cross tracks that they have and the rocks and it has the tires and everything is definitely like if you enjoy enduro cross tracks you're gonna thoroughly enjoy this he did a very good job on it the only thing that i wish was different is the logs that are on the outside to stop you from going off the track i wish that those had collisions see that's that right there is some of the slow physics you get. The stuff just kicking your tires out. But I wish the logs on the outside had collisions the same way as the logs you ride over on the track. Because it's kind of weird when you can just go off of uh, the track through those. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, man, I can't complain about this at all. This is a blast and very difficult as well. 
heck, if you want to get the slow physics down, hit this up. This would be another good practice track, you know what I'm saying? And I definitely think we're going the wrong way on this. But it is what it is. It is not easy. It is hard. Um, a lot of that boils down to the slow physics still are not perfect in the game. Ooh, we almost cleared that whole section. The slow physics are still not perfect in the game, you know what I mean? Um, but nonetheless, he did an amazing job on this enduro track. And I thought it was definitely worth pointing out. I know there's a lot of people that like enduro and... Um, like Supermoto and all the different variations of uh, motocross that this game offers. So I figured, you know what, we'd for sure at least check this out. Even though I am butchering this right now. Comment down below. Did I ride this the right way? Because I don't think I did, man. I don't think... I think I'm just out here making up my own lines on the Enduro Cross track. <laughs> Let's try to clear this. Not meant to happen at all. But you can. You can definitely clear that if you wanted. Now, I just hope that... Uh, we can get that 450 Pro, 250 Pro, 450 AM, and uh, 250 AM down. That would be ideal, and hopefully somebody hears me and at least uh, says something about it, you know what I mean? But if not, at the end of the day, it is what it is, so. But that's going to do it for us today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you all next time, man. Peace.